All right, thanks, Chris. Well, paintings, a video, and a recital that benefits a great cause. All this happening at Gulf Coast State College Panama City campus this week. And that's where we find News 13's Ethan Logue this morning, telling us more about the shows going on at the school over the next couple of weeks. Good morning, Ethan. Hey, good morning, guys. And yeah, as we've been kind of talking about, all throughout the morning, a, a lot going on here at Gulf Coast State College, the Panama City campus, that is, <laughs> in terms of immersing yourself in the art. We have an art gallery that's now open to the public. It's open typically from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day. It's free, and also speaking of free, so is a music recital coming up this Friday, which is at 7.30, so a lot of opportunities. Come out, enjoy the local talent, enjoy the local art, and just get to the immerse yourself in all that good stuff. And I'm going to bring in Carissa Hosey again to talk about this. So we'll start with the recital, Carissa. Uh, first and foremost, as I mentioned, at 730 mm -hmm. this Friday, uh, where is it exactly on the campus? It is here at the Amelia Center for the Performing Arts. And we will be hosting a beautiful recital. As we said earlier, it's free. And we're going to be having a lot of professors here at Gulf Coast State College um, share their chops with the community. And we also have a few people from the community collaborating with our artists. So we are very excited. We hope Panama City will really come out for the event. It is open to anyone and everyone. Now, speaking of the performers, you touched some faculty members, some former students even. Yeah. Who are some of the people coming out? We have a former student, um, Danielle Kirchhoff Alexander, and she'll be doing a few songs. And we also have, let's see if I can list them, okay, Ethan? Mm -hmm. We've got David Stringer, guitar, David Watson, piano, uh, John Devine, clarinet, Kelly Langemer, French horn, Jennifer McAtee, Vincent Pellegrino, and if I forgot anybody, I promise I'll bring them cookies. <laughs> so like, you, literally. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you seem to have got it down mostly for the most part, I gotta say. Now, another big thing going on, as we say, it is free, but there are other opportunities to donate. Absolutely. The money that you make off of those donations, where does that go to? Well, we have a lot of students who need assistance with scholarships, and we hope that, you know, if people can donate for that, that it can maybe change a student's life. Mm -hmm. So we ask that if, if you feel so led to donate to our, our funds for scholarship, but I do believe we're also going to be sending a portion of it um, to Maui. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely a great cause. Now, lastly, kind of, what really keeps bringing you back each and every year? Because this is not the first year you've held this recital. This is just a great event. We as faculty rarely get to work together. We're all doing our own thing. So it was really good that we came together these past few years and just show people that not only do we teach, but we can do too. <laughs> You know what you're talking about for sure. You can back it up. And again, like Chris has said, it is at 7.30 p.m. this Friday here at Gulf Coast State College in Panama City. And as well, as we also touched on earlier in our show, the art gallery is now open to the public. It's open until about October 6th. And again, it runs from about 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day, completely free. So come check it out. Really take a look at all the local talent that we have here in Panama City. Guys, 